All right, guys, listen up. I just got back from the gym, had a, had a hardcore workout like I always do, train like a beast, very, very intense, as, as much as possible without injuring myself. And as you can see, I'm just completely covered and uh, ready to rock and roll, give you this video and give you a little bit of knowledge which you need. Here is the reasons why you're not making progress, you're not making gains, you're not burning fat, you're not building muscle, you're not getting to where you want to be with your fitness goals, okay? First of all, you're lazy. You're very, very lazy. You don't, you've got, you've got the whole world in your fingertips, okay? Which is your iPhone, which you're completely addicted to all day long. And you're so freaking lazy that you won't take up the phone, research what you need to do as far as figuring out your basic metabolic rate, how many calories you're gonna either decrease or increase to build muscle, okay? So you're not, you're not disciplined. You don't, you don't even have enough discipline to pick up your phone and figure out what you need to do to succeed. So that's the first thing, very, very lazy. Second thing is you're scared, you're full of fear. Your fear runs your entire life. It runs your life at school, it runs your life at work, it, and it certainly runs your life at the gym, okay? You, you don't wanna look out of place, you don't wanna look different, you, want, you wanna fit in everywhere you go. Well, guess what? If you want real progress in the gym, you're, you're gonna have to train intensely. You might grimace, okay? You might, you might make a weird sound, you might have a weird look on your face, okay? You might be sweaty in your shorts, it might be embarrassing. You have to stop caring about that. You have to stop operating from fear, okay? And laziness goes hand in hand with fear because if you're fearful, if you're walking into the gym and you're scared about what other people are gonna think, that's gonna make you train lazy. You're not training intensely enough. You, you need to train past the pain every single workout if you wanna make true progress, if you, if you wanna build muscle, you know, if you want to burn fat, that's kind of another thing that more that more has to do with diet um, and and just you know being disciplined, which comes back to being lazy, okay, and fear. So laziness and fear are symptoms of a weak-minded individual. If you want to make true results, uh, excuse me. If you want to get true results, it's going to start with a strong mind. First, you have to determine what you want, and then you have to determine what you're willing to do to get what you want. You have to put away fear. You have to stop worrying about what people think. You have to concentrate on that muscle group. You have to train past the pain. You can't be thinking about anybody else around you. You can't be looking at other people around you. You know, when you walk into the gym or when you walk onto the beach or when you walk into your backyard with your, with your dumbbell set or whatever it is, you can't be thinking about anything else. You cannot be operating from fear. You have to train intensely every single time and a lot of you guys are worried about overtraining you know if you're if you're eating a lot uh, or excuse me if you're eating enough you know there is there is a whole nother science to you know what you need to eat and as far as you know how much um, but that you can easily find online it's everywhere but what you really need to do is you need to train intensely as possible you need to go through the pain okay now, there's a difference between muscle pain and joint pain. If, if you're looking to build muscle, you need to stimulate the muscles enough so that they can recover. You need to, put, you need to induce enough pain into those muscles where, where they're screaming and they're saying, listen, I don't want to go through this pain again. I need to build past that pain. That's called adaptation. So what you're doing is you're applying stimulation okay, through very intense training and then your muscle is adapting. If, if you're eating enough calories, if you're getting enough sleep, if you're drinking enough water, and you're not making progress, it's not because you have low testosterone, most likely, okay? It's because you're not training intensely enough, or maybe you're not training frequently enough. Realistically, you gotta be training every body part. If you, if you wanna build muscle, you gotta be training every body part pretty much twice a week. Now, now you can blast it to smithereens every time you work out. You know, that's not necessarily uh, necessary, if you will, okay? You, you just have to apply enough stimulation very, very intensely, go through that pain so that you can go ahead and adapt to that for the next workout.